Uh, this December, speaking of December, Melanie bought me a gift certificate. It's not to Jack's or to Lowe's or to Shields like most normal people would do. She bought me a gift certificate to Mile High Skydiving Center in Longmont. No, I didn't, that's not exactly the proper response. It's not a who. I always thought I wanted to go until, until I got the certificate. So now I'm doing reading and watching YouTubes on this and making sure I'm emotionally and mentally prepared for this, this occasion. That is, will happen when it, obviously, when it gets warmer. I'm reading about this and one author says, hey, by the way, let me tell you about skydiving. I've done it tons of times. There's one rule. When you, when you release that parachute, your parachute, you have to check and make sure that there is not a single one of the strings holding the parachute to you that is wrapped around the parachute or is that over the top of the parachute? Not a single string. He said if there is one single string, you will appear to be falling normal, but when you get close to the ground, you will be unable to slow down. It will hurt, maybe a little too much. Not a single string. What do you do if there's a, a string over the top of your parachute? You cut the parachute off and use your secondary or your emergency parachute because it will appear normal, but you've got to know it is not. That one string will cost you your life. Wait a minute. If one string matters when you're skydiving, could one string matter when you're living? It's life and death when you're skydiving. What do you think we're talking about here? We're talking about life and death. You thought it was who won the presidential election? You thought it's who has the majority in the house? No. We're talking about your life. Your eternity. Your eternity. 